It doesn't get any funnier than turd bird comedy. How are there and welcome back. This is Poopy Vlog number 18. 18. I know it's crazy. So last night, last night I got really, really scared. Really, really scared. Because my memo, my memo was sick to my papa some dinner and it was like chili or soup or something. Well, I hadn't pooped all day and my, my tummy was hurting. So I went uh, and I was going to get some laxatives and, and, and they're in the medicine cabinet over top of the stove. So I went in there and I was uh, trying to break a piece off of it. Like, cause it's like a chocolate bar. And you, that's the good kind. So I was like trying to break a piece off and it, I couldn't catch it. And it fell in the chili or the soup. And I was like, oh. And I didn't know what to do. So I was like, oh, I was freaking out. I was freaking out. So I, I ate my wax and it was real quick. And I put it back cap back in the cabinet. And I got out of the kitchen before before anybody came in there and noticed something, something was wrong. So I didn't say anything. I didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. So I didn't say anything. So so then I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Once again, cut me the fuck off. Okay, so. And I was like, I went on. And I went in my bedroom and I sat down. And I was watching TV and I started freaking out. Started freaking out. Because then I heard my mama haul. And she, and she told me. She hauled for my papa. And told my papa that dinner was done. And I was like, oh no, oh no. So he went in there and he ate it. He ate every bite. Every single bite. And I was like, oh. This is not good. This is not good. And so I waited. I waited. And then like an hour later. My papa starts running to the bathroom, running. I'm like, he's like 80 years old, and he was running like a Usain Bolt, like fast. Like, there was almost like a smoking fire behind his feet. And I was like, oh, oh no. Uh, and then he was in there for like all night long, and he was screaming. He was screaming. He said he, he was blaming my memo. He was blaming my memo for giving him food poison and giving him diarrhea. But it was really me. I don't know what to do. How are that once again? I'm back. Puppy vlog number nineteen one nine. So this one is a bad one. This was a bad one. So I had to go to the emergency room the other night. This is kind of embarrassing, but I'm still going to tell you because I have to tell somebody because it's it, it's eating at me. So the other night, my my papa was in the in the bathroom and he was he was like fixing the cabinets and stuff because they were a little broke. They were like broke and I. And so he was, he was in there fixing them. And like, I keep this, I keep this little bottle of like a uh, quill lotion under there for when I need to, you know, what boys do. I can't help it. I'm at that age now where, where sometimes I, I, I get these orders and I'm like, oh, I know what that means. I know what that means. And then after I do it, I feel a lot better. A lot better. Like I can think clearer and I can talk clearer. I'm back. It was cutting me off for some reason. So, you know, I come in the bathroom, and it's always down there. I have a little secret spot down there. So I, I grab it, and I put it in my hand, and I start, I start doing my thing. And then, like, usually, usually, it like, it's like a swippy slide. Like, I can go really, really fast or really, really slow. So I start off slow. And it keeps getting slower and slower and slower until eventually I can't even move my hand. And I'm like, what is wrong here? And I try to take it off and it wouldn't come off. And I'm like, oh no, what, what, what's going on here? And I went down to the bottle. I went down to the bottle. And my papa had about the super glue in here. And I put super glue on my hand instead of my, my queer lotion. Cut me off again, but so I my hand my I couldn't take my hand I couldn't take my hand off of my pee pee, and I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So I tried hot water. I tried hot water. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Then I was like, well, what about water and soap? Okay, we'll try that. So I tried water and soap. No work. I tried shampoo and conditional. I thought conditional would be pretty good, but it didn't work either. I was like, damn it. So, and I was like, what am I going to do? Oh, shaving cream. So I tried shaving cream. That didn't work either. Sorry, that my tool it. I hate when it does that. So, and now I was like, what am I going to do? Oh, toothpaste. Toothpaste. So I put tooth. Do not put toothpaste on there. Do not. 
I'm telling you right now, do not use toothpaste down there. It, it burns. It, it caught me off again. I know, I'm sorry, this is a long one, but it's very, very important that you know this. Do not put toothpaste. To, the toothpaste, it, it burns you. Where are we, back? Like, you know how it burns your mouth when you brush your teeth? Yeah, we'll try that like a times a million. Yeah, yeah, only down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a good feeling. I tell you that right now. Not a good feeling at all. Well, I liked it better than the next feeling I got. Because the next feeling I got was embarrassment. Because I had to holler for my memo. And I told her, I, she come to the door. And she's like, yes, Jimmy? And I was like, memo, I got a problem. I got a problem. She's like, what's wrong? She's like, you need some more mirror wax? And I was like, I wish I need more mirror wax, memo, but that's not it. She's like, you need wax it is? I was like, no, memo. I wish I need wax there, but that's not it at all. And she's like, well, what's wrong, Jimmy? And I was like, I was like, I can't, I can't take my hand off of my pee-pee. It caught me off again. So, and I was like, I can't take my hand off of my pee-pee. And she's like, Jimmy. And she started to scold me. She like, tried to get on me. And I was like, no. I was like, no, memo. I was like, I really, really, I can't take it off because it's like, it's stuck on there. And she's like, what do you mean it's stuck on there? And I was like, it's stuck on there. It won't come off. I can't. And I handed her a bottle and she looked at it and she was like, oh. And I was like, yeah, memo, that's what I'm trying to say. I can't pull it off. And she was like, we're going to take you to the emergency room, Jimmy. And I was like, no, we're not going to the emergency room, Memo. I can't do that. I can't. Well, you know how embarrassing that's going to be? You know what? She didn't even drive me to the, she didn't even drive me to the fucking emergency room. She called a fucking ambulance. Had an ambulance and fucking police and fucking fire trucks. Everybody here. Everybody in the fucking front yard. I had to walk out. They covered me with a blanket. I'm um, sorry. Cut me off again. So I got, I got the, the cops. I got the fire People, I got the ambulance, I got everybody, neighbors outside wondering what the fuck's going on. And I'm walking out with hanging down my pants and like I'm trying to cover it where people can't see, but you could you could perfectly tell, you could perfectly tell what was going on. Or at least I could tell, you know, because well, it was me it was having to. So I was like I was like trying to hurry up. I was trying to hurry up and get in the car. But every 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 little every time I moved, it was like very, very painful. Very, very painful. So they put me in the back of the ambulance and they rushed me to the hospital. And then I don't know what they did. I don't know what they did, but they put some stuff on it. And finally, it finally got my hand off my pee-pee. And I was like, oh. And I was like, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to do that again. And the doctor was like, just make sure it's lotion. And I was like, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'll check before I do it next time. So make sure you'll check. Make sure you check what you're putting in your hand. Because you will be holding on to your pee-pee.